What's up, y'all? My name is Karn, and here we are back with another episode of Tales of Beta Sports here with her team, as you can see up there, which was over there. Oops. We have Mega Heracross, a Eject Button, Whimsicott, Mega Slow Bro, Choice Scarf, Terrakion, Lumberry, Tyrantrum, and Rocky Helmet, Cresselia. So, uh, last week, maybe a while ago, we had our first uh, Tales of Rotatia, uh, and we're fighting against Aru from something, uh, with the Suicune, Aegis Lash, Scizor, Blaziken, Superior, and Latias. Uh, but anyways, we, we finished, uh, we just did our first episode of Rotatia. Let me know how you like that. Uh, let me know if I should just do Beta Sposhia the entire time, or Rotatia and Beta Sposhia is a good idea. Anyways, moving on, um, Fire would be fantastic. Uh, and so would Earthquake. Um, let's see, do we have Fire? We do have Fire Fang on Tyrantrum. Um, uh, but Bullet Punch would hurt, um, a butt ton. It would. That's why we should also bring Cresselia. Uh, but Bug Bite's gonna hurt a bunch. Uh, um, that Blaziken also makes me sad. Because, um, of things. Um, let's see. Uh, I think Cresselia, Tyrantrum, and Slowbro are coming, but then in that case, Mega Scizor kind of shits all over everything I've lived for. Um, but I don't really have a check for Mega Scizor. That's not good. That's not good. I guess Mega Slowbro is our best bet. What do you think he's going to start with? Blaziken? Let's start with Slowbro. Let's start with Slowbro, bring Tyrantrum, and then Cresselia. <sighs> Technician Bug Bite, if he can set up a Swords Dance, then I'm screwed. So basically... If I can get in with Slowbro, and I can uh, go ahead and make sure that, uh, what do I make sure of? Uh, I make sure that uh, this, that thing gets burned, then good things happen. So this Scizor is gonna start. Like I thought, he's the biggest threat on my on, of my team. So we just need to Mega Evolve and Scald. I am I am absolutely certain that he's not Mega Evolving. And he's just gonna U-turn. And this weaken. Uh either that or superior. And that just a regular is he choice banded? Cause we're a mega slow bro. We are a mega slow bro. I'm letting you know that right now. We are a mega slow bro. And that U-turn did a solid 60%. Like, what the heck? What the legitimate heck? Are we gonna get a burn? No, we're not burn. Okay. Um, so Slowbro's useless. I know that now. I might as well just slack off here. He's probably gonna call mine. No, he's gonna Draco Meteor. Okay. So Slowbro's dead. Uh, but at least we're gonna force the switch out um, for Latias. Um, now I'm tempted to switch into Tyrantrum here and just set up Dragon Dances. But it's possible that a, a second Draco Meteor will still KO. It's not gonna matter. Especially if he goes for Draco Meteor and then Scissor comes out, then bullet punches, then I'm screwed anyways. So I might as well go on the Cresselia, right? I might as well go on the Cresselia. This is a pain! La. Okay. So the scissor is probably gonna come out. Let's just T-wave it. We can T-wave something. Um, whether it's a scissor or a scissor. So we're gonna be able to T-wave the scissor, which is nice. Kind of. I guess. In a way. Um, he's probably just gonna U-turn again. So we should just Moonlight, right? We should just Moonlight. Yeah, let's just Moonlight. Because... Okay, so it was a complete waste of a turn. It was a complete waste of a turn. Um, Cresselia can't do anything against this guy anyways, though. Let's go for Psy Shock, I guess. Do a bit of damage. I mean, I could switch out into Tyrantrum, but then Latias comes out and then I'm screwed anyways. So we're getting... So lucky with the Parahax, and nothing's happening because of it. He's gonna U-turn on the Latios, though.
And I want that thing paralyzed, so we're just gonna stay in Inside Shock. A lot. I think I'm making bad plays here. I really do. Let's see how much this U-turn does. I'm 100% sure his choice banded. He's gonna take Rocky Helmet Dam, which is more damage than I've done with Side Shock the entire time. And the Latias is gonna come in. There's really nothing I can do about it though. I don't, I don't know. I am so flabbergasted by the amount of luck that this game is giving me right now. I am absolutely flabbergasted by the amount of luck that this... Is this real life? Is this real life? I would have forfeited by now if I was this guy. Is this real life? Wow. It's not going to pick up the KO though, so he's going to Healing Wish into the Scizor. Healing Wish into the Scizor, but uh... I can't believe this. This is, this is not real life. So does it heal the Paralysis too? Because that would stink. That would stink. It does! He's gonna be able to U-turn KO. I'm gonna switch down to Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum has okay defenses. He's not gonna go for bullet punches. Because he, he I, I don't think he would think that KOs. I'm gonna switch down to Tyrantrum. Uh, it doesn't, I don't resist it, but at least it's not super effective. Um, it's still gonna do half. So... This is a predicament. I don't think he would bring the... If he brought the superior, then I'm done already. So, there's no point. There's no point. Uh, that is the Bashi Blaziken. That's the Blaziken. So, we Dragon Dance? I think we Dragon Dance. I think we Dragon Dance. I seriously feel like he's just gonna go for High Jump Kick. I seriously feel like he's just gonna go for an attack. I'm gonna Dragon Dance. I think I think he knows because he outspeeds already. Uh, he can he can afford to go for an attack. Tyrantrum is slow as hell. And then again, if this is an adamant Blaziken, uh, I should be able to outspeed. Uh, should keyword. Uh, so maybe he will go for protect. Pour myself some water. I still can't believe all the luck that I got in this game. I'm about to throw it away. Basically because there's no way I can win this match right now. 100% no way. Calling it right now. I do outspeed. He didn't go for Jack. I should have gone for Dragon Dance. Or not Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw. I can't. This is literally insane. Dragon Dance again. He's going to protect. I cannot. This is absolutely insane. The amount of bad luck my opponent had. Two para hack. No. Three para hacks. A Draco miss. And a high jump kick miss. The unluckiest game my opponent probably has ever seen in his entire life. Oh, yeah, he does get the double protect. Okay. Okay. I didn't know if he would go for it. Because he's been seeing so much bad luck anyways. So Tyrant was dead, 100%. And, um... I couldn't switch on to Crest. Because if I had switched out, uh, it's not like it would die to Rocky Helmet. And uh, then, uh, basically what I needed was Blaziken to, um, 
go down to actually no because he knows that no but he couldn't go for if he went for anything but bullet punch if he was if he was actually choice banded then i would have won because he would have had to go for bullet punch on my tyrantrum and then i would have been able to go on to crest and then he would have bullet punch uh hopefully if i if i lived it then i would be able to moonlight and then just stall psy shock into death but that was definitely not a game i should have won because oh my god what bad luck my opponent what bad luck for my opponent and that was just that was just that was just i don't know what i could have done to beat that team scissor you turning sword uh choice bandage scissor um and uh latias and then also mega blaziken uh if i'd save slow bro if i'd started with um uh, tyrantrum then maybe things would have gone differently okay dc thanks was that on my end that, that must have been on my end no my internet's still up so it wasn't on my end uh my i connected to someone and then they disconnected because they were just like yeah i don't like this guy i don't like this guy he sucks yeah <sighs> But, you know, you know, things just, things are just looking sad over there. Things are looking very sad. So we're up against Yusuke, Yusuke from Tokyo with 14.05 with Beedrill, Talonflame, Needle King, Mo, Mo, Hydreigon, and Lantern. Wow, okay. Uh, so this looks like a fun time for uh, Whimsicott Heracross uh, on a Talonflame. But Talonflame. So I think Slowbro, Terrakion, uh, I might end up bringing Whimsicott anyways. Or maybe Cresselia. I don't see, I mean, except for Hydreigon, there's not a lot of like Dark Pulse or Dark users. Oh, Beedrill. Ooh, Beedrill. Alright, we're gonna start with Tarakion. Uh, we're gonna bring Slowbro because of uh, Talon Flame. Uh, I need to be very careful of that Lantern though. I need to remember that Lantern exists. Uh, I think because of that Beedrill, I think I'm gonna bring. You know what? Whimsicott? I can Encore some stuff. Um, could Encore some stuff. Uh, or I could bring Tyrantrum. With one Dragon Dance, I think I'll outspeed everything. So yeah, I'm gonna bring Slowbro, Terrakion, and Tyrantrum. I don't see, except for the Needle King, there's not a lot of Earthquake. Or like, ground users. It should be okay there. Slowbro should be able to take whatever that Needle King has anyways. Actually, Sheer Force Earth Power might do a fuck ton. Will probably do a fuck ton. So you're gonna go out into the beach drill. I'm fine with that because I have the Stone Edge. And uh, Mega Beedrill will not outspeed me um, unless you go for Protect and then Mega Evolve. Um, but he is definitely gonna Mega Evolve, so he's staying in. Mega Beedrill in and up. And maybe he's just trying to go for the Grill one. Drill, run. But he is gonna Protect. Uh, but I am Choice Scarf, so I'm pretty sure I still outspeed. Pretty sure I still outspeed. So we're gonna go ahead and go for Stone Edge and hope that it lands. And if it doesn't out, if I don't outspeed, then well, uh, that would be really sad. But we do land the Stone Edge. No focus sash because he is Mega Stone and critical hit. Okay. So this is just the luckiest yo. This my my UBC Esports Association shirt is just giving me the best of luck. I didn't want to show it off yet. Because I was afraid of, um, of bad things happening. We're going to go on the Tyrantrum. Because Terrakion can still use some use. And I don't want to just Stone Edge for fun. Uh, I still have Poison Jab on that thing. I have Close Combat on that thing. And then a Leaf Storm. I don't know if Tyrantrum can survive that. Um, but no, you, you can't. Wow, that is so sad. That is so sad. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, we're gonna go back into Terrakion, and we're gonna go ahead and close combat. Because, yeah, why not? 
Close combat. I don't remember any ghosts on my opponent's team. This thing is electric grass. So I don't see why I wouldn't close combat. Uh, the Talon Flame, that's why. No, Nido King. Nido King, that's why. But if two close combats can. Wow. That sucks. We're gonna go on the slow, bro. And really hope that I can take an Earth Power. If it's Earthquake, then that'd be even better. But, um. Earth Power. So, slow, bro. Let's see how, how well you can take that. Not well at all. Literally, if I had brought Crest instead of, um, if I had brought Crest instead of, well, I think I still would have switched into Crest there. Then I'd be screwed. So he's gonna go for Earth Power and just KO everything? Yeah, he's gonna go for Earth Power and just KO everything. Okay. 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 Um, there's really nothing I can do. Slowbro was useless once that Rotom Mo was there. If I had Wiper Recover, that wouldn't be funny. No, but then he would have gone for Earth Power the next turn in the KO. So, he's he is Life Orb, that's probably why that Earth Power did so much damage. So let's see, let's think about this for a second. Um, I obviously can't go for Earthquake. The only thing I can do is go for Close Combat, hope for a... Uh, hope for a... Uh, what's it called? A uh, high roll. All I can do is go to close for close combat and hope for a high roll. Because, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. It, 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 he's gonna KO me with Earth Power, especially since my defenses are gonna drop. Um, I couldn't go for. I mean, if I got for Earthquake, then Rotom would not die. So. Um, if I brought Cresselia, uh, maybe things would be better, um, because of my Earthquake weakness, but also because of that Rotom Mo, I wouldn't really have been able to do anything, so if I had brought Heracross and Whimsicott, then everything would have been fine, but because I saw Talonflame, I decided no. So, yeah, let's uh, let's learn from that and bring Heracross Whimsicott next time. Let's learn from that and bring Heracross Whimsicott. You know, since I have Whimsicott, maybe my Terrakion shouldn't be Scarfed. It should just be Life Orb or something. That would have that might have actually made things better. That Rotom was probably uh, I bet it was I bet it was Specs. I mean, Tyrantrum doesn't have the best of defenses, but like it has okay defenses. Like it's it's nothing to scoff at, right? It's like. I mean, a Leaf Storm is a ter terribly powerful move. So we're going against Pika Somu. Pika so Soma? Pika Soma? And we have a Mono Ghost Team. We have a Mono Ghost Team. Wow. Uh, so that, uh, that also doesn't want me make me want to bring my Heracross. But Bullet Sea for the Jellison, Rock Blast for the Chandelure. Um, Pin Missile for the Sableye, I don't know, that's about it, literally. Mono Ghost is probably the worst thing I can see right now, because I don't have any Dark Attacks. I have Crunch on Tarantrum, that's the extent of it. So we're going to start with Whimsicott, we're going to bring Heracross and Tarantrum. I... Didn't want to wear my UB UBC Esports shirt and get three losses, but it brought us really good luck before, so maybe, just maybe, we could, uh, we could, uh, pull, uh, I don't know, maybe he could bring Chandelure, Jellicent, Sableye, but he's probably going to bring Sableye, Aegislash, and Gengar, so... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And 
Life is hard. Life is hard. So, choosing his Pokemon. Sableye, Chandelure, Jellicent. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. Because Aegis Lash shits all over my team. Gengar shits all over on my team. Well, if I can get a Tailwind up, I think Tyrantrum with Crunch will do okay. Strong Jaw and all that. Obviously, it's not sturdy since it went down in one hit to that life. Leaf Storm. So he's going to start with Stabilize. I'm going to start with my Whimsicott. So we're going to Prankster it up. Um, he might Mega Evolve. So we're just going to go ahead and go for a Moonblast. And then I can Encore him into whatever he wants to go to. Her. He wants to go for. Um... If he switches on to Aegislash here, then I can lead seed that thing. Uh, he is going to taunt. He's going to taunt. Uh, totally screwing over Whimsicott, but we are going to be able to get super effective damage off on this uh, uh, Sableye. And almost one-shot it! Wow, okay. Is he going to DC? Is he really going to DC? Come on. Connection with the other trainer was interrupted. I really like the fact that I really like that position, I'm not gonna lie, I really like that position. Cuz I, I like that position. I like that. Okay, well we're not going up against Mono Ghost today. We're not going up against Mono Ghost today. And we're up against Santiago. Uh, 6v6 from Mexico, uh, 1381 rating with Charizard, Jellicent, Alakazam, Chansey, Chestnut, and Donphan. So Heracross definitely is coming. So we're definitely, we're still starting with Whimsicott Heracross. Um, but let's see, uh, Charizard, Alakazam, Chansey. Uh, are we still bringing Tyrantrum? D-Dance it up. Um, or we could bring... Terrakion just to get that uh, secondary choice scarf just in case uh, we can't KO the Charizard or we can't uh, KO the Alakazam then we have Terrakion in the back um, or we can bring Cress and the Charizard I'm afraid of I think we're gonna bring Terrakion just in case so we have a secondary, a secondary speedy mod for that if that tailwind goes away. So Santiago, hopefully we can get a win this turn because I can see Heracross really working out this game. I can see Heracross really working out this game. Uh, so we're gonna start with the Whimsicott, uh, and I'm guessing he's gonna start with Charizard. No, Dawn Fan. Okay, what is he gonna do? Set up rocks? What are you gonna do? Set up rocks? Uh, I'm gonna go for Tailwind. He's gonna withdraw Dawn Fan. Wow, I just lost the turn of Tailwind. And he's gonna send out Charizard. That Charizard's gonna be sitting there. I'm gonna set up the Tailwind. And then he's probably just gonna Fire Blast me to Oblivion. Which is fine. Uh, we're gonna go for Lead Seed just because. Um. Whimsicott is gonna go down, but that's all Whimsicott's supposed to be for. It's supposed to eject button the hell out of there. Uh, so, we're gonna Tailwind it up. We're gonna Leech Seed. And then he's gonna force me out by killing me. Um, which is, you know, all Whimsicott's for. Set up the Tailwind and go away. So we got the lead seed up, and then now we can switch into Heracross and go for Rock Blast and win. Go for Rock Blast and win. So, as long as Rock Blast doesn't miss, so far we've been having pretty good luck. Hopefully we don't uh, run out of it right now, because that would literally suck. That would be the worst thing of the world. That would be the worst thing, the worst thing. But it doesn't, so we're going to take out this Charizard in one Rock Blast. It's a critical hit. Even if not, it would have taken out in two, so you know. But still, like, holy crap. <laughs> That's insane. So, um, there's the Dawn fan, which we can bullet seed. Probably thinking he can sit here and uh, make me stall out my um, tailwind. But we're going to go ahead and bullet seed. And that's going to do uh, not a lot. Because Dawn fan's a defensive beast. Actually... 
We're not gonna KO in two. We're not gonna KO in two. Unless once, once it, unless this last one's a crit. Uh, so Don Fan's gonna hang on by a sliver, and he's gonna be able to go for a Fire Fang in the sun. But that's not gonna KO. So um, that's fine. We can go for another Bullet Seed, and then we can see what the last Mon is. Our Tailwind did peter out. See that? The, the Bullet Seed comes from the top of his horn. I think I said this before. I think I used Mega Heracross before, and I talked about how the Bullet Seed came from his horn. Which is weird. Uh, if he brought Jellison, that would make me happy. I'm a happy person. I am a happy person, because guess what? Bullet Seed all over this Jellicent. He's not going to be able to outspeed me. And that Jellicent is uh, pretty done. It's pretty done. Um, I was about to say if, if uh, Purse Body made my Bullet Seed go away, like, uh, while in the middle of using it, I would have been mad. But, um, so yeah. We're finally, we're going to get one win on this episode with my UBC shirt. Um, but I... I still cannot believe the luck of the first battle we still lost. So luck is in everything, y'all! Luck is in everything! Although that was insane, that was absolutely, positively insane. Uh, I need to get better at this. I want that positive rating back again. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a comment below telling me what you enjoyed. And until next time, Penguin Nation, out!